Are you tired of lag and low FPS ruining your Roblox experience? In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock insane FPS boosts and super low ping using the updated Voidstrap Fast Flag settings after the latest Roblox patch. What if I told you there's a way to supercharge your game for smooth, buttery gameplay, even on low-end PCs? Let's dive in. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize Game Mode and graphic settings for Roblox. The first step is to adjust a couple of settings on your computer to improve how Roblox runs. Start by clicking on the search bar in Windows and typing Game Mode. Open the Game Mode settings from the search results and make sure that Game Mode is turned on. Game Mode helps by reducing background processes so your PC can allocate more resources to running Roblox. Once Game Mode is on, go back to the search bar and type Graphics Settings. Open the Graphics Settings, then click the Add Desktop App button. Look for the folder where Roblox is installed on your computer and select the Roblox player file to add it to the list. After you add Roblox, click on it in the list, then click on the Options button. In the new window that pops up, choose High Performance and then click Save. This tells your computer's graphics card, GPU, to prioritize Roblox and give it more power for better FPS. These small adjustments will help ensure that your computer is running at peak performance while playing Roblox. Step 2. Unpark CPU cores to make your processor work better for gaming. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. The next step is to optimize how your CPU, central processing unit, works. Your CPU has multiple cores, which handle different tasks, and sometimes these cores can be parked, meaning they aren't working at full capacity. This can cause lag or frame drops in Roblox. To fix this, download the Unpark CPU tool from your FPS Boost Pack. Right-click on the tool and select Run as Administrator to ensure it can make necessary changes. When the tool opens, it will show you a list of all your CPU cores. If any cores are marked as parked, it means they are turned off or idle. To unpark them, simply click the Unpark button and the tool will activate all your CPU cores. This ensures that your processor can use its full power, which will make Roblox run more smoothly with higher FPS and less lag. After completing this step, your CPU will always be ready to perform at its maximum level, allowing Roblox to run with better performance. Step 3. Boost Roblox FPS using Voidstrap and Fast Flag settings. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. After a Roblox update, many older FPS optimization tools stopped working, but Voidstrap remains a powerful tool for boosting FPS. Voidstrap is a new version of Blockstrap, designed to improve Roblox's performance. Start by downloading and installing Voidstrap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. Once installed, search for Voidstrap in your Windows search bar and open it. When Voidstrap opens, go to the Settings tab. Here, you'll see options like Player Message Logs, but these don't affect FPS. The real improvements come from the next sections. Go to the Deployment tab and enable Multi-Instance Launching, which allows you to run multiple Roblox games smoothly without lag. Also, turn on cross-game teleportation to make switching between games faster. These options make Voidstrap much more powerful and flexible than older launchers. Next, go to the Modifications tab, which is similar to Blockstrap. Here, you can manage your mods, enable old sounds, or adjust visual settings. Then, go to the Fast Flag Editor, which is the most powerful part of Voidstrap. It will show preset flags marked with green check marks and custom ones with red Xs. You can use options like Copy All Flags, Find Flag, and Import JSON. To use the FPS boosting flags, click Import JSON, paste the fast flag codes, and click Save. These flags optimize how Roblox uses your hardware, unlocking higher FPS and reducing lag. Afterward, go to the Fast Flag Settings tab. This tab provides preset optimization profiles that automatically boost FPS, lower ping, and stabilize frame rates without needing any manual adjustments. Voidstrap also includes tabs for appearance and shortcuts, similar to Blockstrap, along with an AI chat tool, still in beta, that explains flags. Once you've saved your settings, close the launcher and start Roblox through Voidstrap. You'll notice smoother gameplay with fewer frame drops and more stable high FPS. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. 
If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Improve GPU performance with MSI Afterburner. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Next, we'll focus on your GPU graphics card, which is responsible for rendering Roblox's visuals and keeping the game looking smooth. To do this, we will use a tool called MSI Afterburner, which allows you to safely adjust your GPU's settings. Download and install MSI Afterburner, then open the application. Once open, you'll see sliders for various settings like power limit, temperature limit, core clock, and memory clock. Start by setting the power limit and temperature limit to their maximum values. Do not touch the core voltage slider. Next, you can begin adjusting the memory clock slider. Increase it by small increments, like plus 20, and then test Roblox for a few minutes to see if everything runs smoothly. If there are no issues, increase the memory clock by another plus 20. Keep testing and adjusting until you find a stable setting. If you notice any flickering or crashes, reduce the memory clock back to the last stable setting and click Apply. By doing this, you'll allow your GPU to run at peak performance, resulting in smoother gameplay, fewer stutters, and higher FPS in Roblox. Step 5. Free up RAM. Using ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Another way to improve Roblox's performance is by freeing up RAM, which acts as your computer's short-term memory. When your RAM gets too full, Roblox may lag or freeze. To fix this, we'll use a tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Open ISLC, and at the top you will see your system's total memory. In the box labeled, Free Memory is Lower Than, type half of your total RAM. For example, if you have 32 GB of RAM, type 16 GB. If you have 16 GB, type 8 GB. Next, check the boxes for Start ISLC Minimized and Launch ISLC on User Logon, so the tool runs quietly in the background and starts automatically when you boot up your PC. Then, enable timer resolution and set it to 0.50. Set the polling rate to 1000 or 10,000 if your PC is low end to save CPU resources. After setting these values, click Stop, then Start, and finally click Purge Standby List to free up RAM. This will give Roblox more memory to work with, leading to fewer freezes, smoother gameplay, and faster loading times. It's a great trick for improving performance, especially on lower-end PCs. Step 6. Disable useless startup apps for faster, boot and gameplay. To fix this, right-click the taskbar and choose Task Manager, then click the Startup tab. Here you'll see all the apps that launch when your PC starts. Go through the list and disable the ones you don't need. For example, apps like Spotify, Discord, or Adobe Software don't need to start with Windows unless you want them to. Be careful not to disable system apps that Windows needs. After disabling unnecessary apps, restart your PC. Now, your computer will boot much faster, use fewer resources in the background, and leave more power for Roblox.